Okay, guys, uh, today my name is Luis Consistre and I am going to present about NSX Performance. I work for Dell as a technical consultant and um, let's start. Today, basically, I will be covering uh, the topology, the methodology, uh, I'm going to show some results in regards to how NSX perform. I want to say a special thank you to the Dell Solution Center that they provide equipment for me to do all these tests. So, okay, so what we have done here is we have the traditional VLAN, the VLAN, the physical VLAN environment. So, what we have done is we have run some tests, some performance tests in the VLAN environment. Then we have installed NSX and we have run the same test. At, at the end, we are going to compare the result. For that particular test, we are just going to talk about east to west traffic, so means in the same data center, interact. So we are, not talk, we are not going to cover north to south, or this will be for a future presentation. When we start, uh, when we start before to start the test, uh, for us was need to do some offload and do some teaming. So basically we check that every single network card in the server was tuned according to the best practice of VMware. So I guys recommend you go, you go and check the, this KV article and make sure that every single NIC card in your environment is according and is working properly uh, according to that particular offload. So this offload, just to put it in the context, will give you around 50% performance. So when we turn the feature off, uh, we might get 50% performance less. Let's talk about the topology. So the topology, basically we have a normal left uh, fabric layer three, left spine, and we design the NSX according to the VMware reference best practices. So we have four cluster, two cluster for compute, one cluster for management, and one cluster for edge. The server that we run, uh, we run Dell R720, two, giga, two 10 gigabyte card each server, the physical network uh, is set up with MTU 1600. We are using link aggregation to maximize the bandwidth. Uh, and the way that we have done the test is in the, in the following way. So we place, we have close, the cluster is made by two hosts. So we place eight VMs in one host. And we place, sorry, we place four VMs in one host to send traffic. We place four VMs to receive traffic on the other host. Using the net perf, that is a network load generator, we have created a few, a few traffic uh, with few sizes, like 64, 512, 32, and 64K as a baseline. So let's talk about the results. So the normal, the traditional VLAN, the physical world, so we have the, the normal DVS running with two, two poor group, different VLANs. So if we want to talk, if we want to communicate build, uh, machines places in VLAN 101 to machines places in VLAN 102, basically what we need to do, the VM is going to send the traffic to the network car and then to the switch, and then we'll go back, flow back to the, to the VLAN or to the VM place in VLAN 102. So doing that, the performance that we got, it was around 18 gigabit per second. I, I need to mention that, of course, because we were using link aggregation, uh, the teaming, the, for, the teaming for, for that particular X scenario was IP hash. On the other hand, we install NSX, so we create one logical switch and we place the VMs. The result was basically exactly the same. So we got around the same throughput, but the only difference is we got a CPU overhead between the three and four percent. So this was when we were doing logical routing. So this is a small comparison. So when we have the small package, the CPU increased, and when the package were larger, uh, we got around three to four percent. That is, this is going to be the, the 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 number that I will take account for when I am designing NSX. The second test that we ran was uh, we create then a second a second logical a second logical switch. So we have two network segments and we connected through the DRR to uh, logical routing. The result was exactly the same. So there was no different in terms of throughput. So we have exactly the same throughput and exactly the same 
CPU overhead. So there is no different when we were doing uh, physical, uh, when we were doing logical routing or we, we were doing uh, switching. The final test, the final test that we ran uh, was in regards, we were trying to, to test the distributed firewall. So then the first, the first test that we ran, uh, we put, we placed the VMs. So we, we create the rules, so we create 100 rules to, to start with. And there was no impact into the performance, so the performance was remained the same. We create then 250 and then 500 rules, and the performance keep the same. So at the end, we could get 18 Gbps. The reason why the number of rules does not impact the performance is because actually when NSX is, is checking the, the rules, the rules at the VMs is, is doing per section. So once the VM is, has a rule that applies to, it's open a connection and then it starts checking even one rule or 500 rules. The number of rules at the end does not impact the performance. But what we can see here, and it was clearly, we have a CPU increase. So we were talking about the overhead for that particular X scenario was between five to 6%. So what's the conclusion with all these tests? Uh, at the end of the test, we could see that we have very similar performance when we are talking the traditional VLANs and we compare it again, NSX switching and routing. So they were no different, um, slightly different, but at the end it's basically the, a similar performance. NSX, uh, the different, it was in terms of overhead. So we got around three to 4% overhead when, we're, when we were doing logical switching. Between logical switching and logical routing, there's not much different. Actually, it's basically the same. So the, the test was exactly the same. So we got the same throughput and we got the same, the same performance. From the firewall point of view, the number of rules doesn't don't impact the performance. So we could evaluate one rule or 500 rules. At the end, the, the throughput was the same, remained the same across the, the number of rules. And finally, this, the firewall, when we were evaluating after the test in the firewall, with the firewall rules, we got around 5 to 6% CPU overhead. So this was uh, the cause of having distributed firewall in our environment. Okay, guys, thank you very much.